it's a bright and beautiful day. And I can actually see the buildings in the distance. This is episode two. It is currently what I thought was Friday, but is actually Saturday. I figure I'll just clue you in on some of what's been going on, and there should be more to come of actual video regarding Qinghua and uh, Beijing. If you enjoyed the, the first minute of video that I had in this episode, uh, there should be a lot more like that in the future and I'll, some but less of just me talking to the camera because I don't actually have that much to say uh, and it's a little bit overwhelming that's no, not I'm lying it's really not that overwhelming it's, it's really annoying that there's not clean water to drink all the time but other than that it, I'm fine as for the things I wanted to talk about uh, number one is the pollution here um, you know, and it was bad, uh, and, and visually, it's not as bad as, you know, pictures make it look, but, <clears throat> uh, what you really can notice is, uh, apartment buildings, uh, they have white walls, and from the corners of all the windows, there's kind of like this black soot dripping down, um, staining the outside walls. Wednesday, I walked outside without a mask. It was like the, the day with the worst pollution, um, and I just started coughing the second I took a breath. <clears throat> it's Inside isn't totally clean either, but I think it's just some like gust of pollution hit me or something, uh, and I needed to like go back inside, take a breath, and just put my mask on. Um, other than that, I I could get away without wearing my mask, but... Uh, you know, after I look at the, the air ratings, there's just no way that I'm not going to wear one. And it's a little weird, too, because a lot of the people, like a lot of the native people, a lot of the locals, um, if the weather is even, like, mildly okay, uh, they will not wear their mask. So sometimes, like, I feel like I'm the guy, I'm like the weird foreigner wearing his mask. As the dining, that's pretty neat. Uh, it is insanely, insanely inexpensive. Uh, you know, a meal is like a dollar. As for the quality and choices, uh, quality is okay. Like a lot of the time, the food is cold, and I feel like it could just be warm, and they just kind of let it sit. For how much I'm paying, I don't think I could really ask for any more. Uh, but <coughs> it would be nice if some some of the food was like warmer once in a while. But that's me being an American, I think. Now. Last neat thing uh, is the kind of like biking culture. Not really culture in that like people love to race bikes around campus, but you know, everybody has a bike. I picked mine up for like 25 bucks and everybody rides their bike. So outside of any place whatsoever with a door, there are 50 bikes in front of every apartment building, it's like 200, 300 bikes, in front of the, the market or supermarket, there are 100 bikes, in front of the dining hall, there's 100 bikes, uh, and oftentimes you actually can't walk on some of the sidewalk because they're just overflowing with bicycles. Last thing, uh, me and some people went on a trip to this sort of pedestrian commercial area. Uh, that was really neat. Just a ton of little shops on like, along the street, from you know, like street street snacks and food to places that sold like little teacups uh, to 
like this one store that only sold puzzles, like jigsaw, only sold jigsaw puzzles. Um, you know, they had ones like in ball shapes and had ones with pretty pictures and had ones that were like magnets and anything you could want that, that was a jigsaw puzzle, they had it. I know you'd love that dad. So, uh, the shoe is called Nan Luo Ku Xiang. I didn't think to get any footage while I was there, but um, hopefully on my some of my next excursions, I'll make sure to get some video so I can show you guys. I got a quick snap of me and my friend Pedro taking breakfast at the nearby uh, what they call canteens enjoy and uh, i'll see you guys next week hey guys sorry for the monster on my mouth um the food here can be two extremes otherwise it can be terrible and you will like regret yourself forever for eating that <laughs> or it will be so good and you will be like oh my god i need to live in china for eating that every day yeah, that's my feelings about it. I just put some hot water on my soup also because it gets really cold faster, but really fast, but it's no problem at all. And it's really good. Though it doesn't look like really good, as you can see, but Lucas liked it. I did, I did. Yeah, it was, yeah, it yeah. was quite good. A <laughs> but nice it looks morning like meal. prison food or something, but it's really good though. Yeah. That's it. So that's Pedro, my, my, my new friend. <laughs> Thank you.